सो इट इज़ द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ माई वीडियोज़ इट इज डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन आई हैव यूज जी जी प्लॉट टू कलर टूल्स लाइब्रेरी देन ऑल रिशेप टू ऑल दोस देन एनिमेशन प्लॉट्स एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स आई हैव यूज सो एन्जॉय दैट डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन वीडियो हाई एवरीबॉडी दिस इज द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ माई फर्स्ट वीडियो and this is the data uh, visualization part maximum data, data visualization i has uh, i have done in uh, ggplot2 then uh, for better interpretation i have did it in plotly and color tools i have used so let's see i have say uh, i've checked this uh, uh, what here it is showing with the ggplot2 here i i'll be saying that uh, uh line graph here it is a geom point point graph i have shown this is the point uh, this is the point uh, graph uh, maximum of two years data i have used uh, for uh tidier function tidier functions to uh, for better visualization in histograms so what is the histograms Strings. I have histogram with the ggplot2. Uh, let's see the histograms. It's uh, showing uh, or uh, it's a histogram shows the maximum uh, variations, the maximum count it hit. Like uh, this is the MPR, this is the bearing temperature. The bearing temperature generally maximum ever uh, raised to this uh, between uh, 35 to 40. And with the maximum count, like this is MPR, which is maximum, it runs uh, with the two thirty five MPRs. And this uh, histogram still uh, interprets a lot of information about the data. And uh, next is the density plot I have done. Uh, density it shows it's similar to that histogram. So uh, uh, it will show the data variations. Like this is a bearing, uh, driving and a x direction vibration, motor driving and y direction vibrations, and uh, you see this. This is the uh, range where it maximum plot. It occurs the value jumps or uh, jumps in this range only. This is the uh, density plot. This density density. So this also gives lots of um, informations about this. Uh, I have then converted it into time series data with its uh, time series initial outliers, and in the time series data we, we can also uh, check it uh, some of the out outliers if any possible. So like a, let's see, the different plots like the I have uh, time series in the I have done uh, TS uh, as well as TS. First, I converted to do with the do functions. Uh, I converted the date variables, and then I converted do function to as well TS. And because auto plots work in TS only, uh, so what is the auto plot? Plot it is showing. Uh, you see that I have taken in y axis different parameter with the two two years data. Uh, the uh, graph it is uh, showing. Uh, with uh, with one uh, with this uh, graphs, uh, lots of interpretation can be done. So like uh, at the same time, the fluctuation rates, like when the pump stop, uh, you see that the temperature also reduces, the pressure reduces, then vibration reduces. All those things are uh, correlated. So this type of information is uh, generally used, and with the uh, GGLA uh, library. It's the most important plot. So it will say the correlation of each and every variables with other uh, variables, and uh, so um, it uh, say what does it say? It say it say uh, let 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 me see the plot uh, plot. Uh, it it will take some times because uh, lots of variable is there. And it will shows the correlation with uh, each and every uh, plots. Here is the um, here is the 
correlations like ampere results correlated with other bearing temperature see that which linearly uh, um, the graph is linearly and how is the correlation value with this in each and every panel with the correlation percentage here it is showing so this is an important uh, for me because the i don't want to take uh, all the par parameter variables uh, uh, as a target variable at each steps i don't want to i want the most important correlations maximum correlated in, on uh, and then uh, do arima uh, x regression models then uh, other plots uh, uh, sometimes there is there you can have some this is the this plot with the this shows generally similar to this uh, line graph it shows how the its average lines shows how its uh, the average lines its variations this is also very important plots plans for data visualization for weekly and monthly i just want to see how the pump runs weekly and monthly in the daily amperes uh, at uh, in the years it's, it's the uh, downtrend is that uh, when the pump remains top condition it's zero value that's why it's, it's showing uh, uh, down trends in monthly so th basically this is the seasonal plot and the seasonal plot what will do it's the most important thing for the week it's a line graph in the seasons and uh, this is uh, per day the seasonal plot of two years uh, and uh, since uh, in week it is showing so let's check it in uh, more classical it is not visual visualizing let's uh, visualize more elaborately so that it can uh, digest uh, to every uh, or you can interpret uh, easily uh, this is the plots of multi-seasonal decomposition you just have a, a look of a decompositions uh, plots uh, this is not recorded at these times and so what is the uh, next uh, is uh, 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 important thing is uh, uh, seasonal variations uh, of uh, l2 this is uh, weekly seasonal variations it's 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 showing what it's showing this is for the uh, week uh, like uh, 2017 okay, 16 17 18 uh, you see that in 18 the pump uh, has stopped uh, like uh, initially remain stop but in 17 the, the buffer so you see uh, in 16 it it runs uh, like uh, stop in the 14th week only so this type of uh, interpretation information is uh, given by the seasonal uh, and uh, in week uh, seasonal plot uh, like this this is the plot in the week uh, of throughout the year of uh, 2016 17 18 it's the important plot so it's how much that pump remains stop conditions and so each and every parameters we can visualizations in all the way then we have a um, AC plot, then lag plot, lag plot also has an important plots uh, and uh, it will give uh, information how each uh, the present parameters is lagging by the uh, lag one, two, three previous uh, day, day, previous parameters, how it is improving. This information will interpret lots of information. Again, the seasonal plot for the month uh, is also uh, taken. A uh, month uh, again the seasonal plans of a month is also taken and here we can uh, use with uh, grid extra packages it's uh, uh, you can show both the with weekly and monthly variations see how the ampere varied uh, means uh, how how much time the pump remains and what uh, at what week the pump remains in uh, off condition this is like this uh, June to um, November you see um, the data for the uh, year 2018 so it remains continuously uh, June to 
in 2016 uh, 17 yes, yeah 2017 it remained continuous uh, but in 2016 it, be, it, it remained stop in the month of august uh, month. so this type of information with the uh, seasonal plots will give you lots of yeah. and uh, in the seasonal uh, line plot also weekly line plot is also this will show the different year uh, the pump runs uh, how much conditions this will uh, show and uh, more prob most probably um, the visualizations um, many more things can be done say, unless you get uh, all the informations so it uh, depends on you how much uh, visualizations you want or um, like this way so this is uh, most probably I, this type of visualization visualization i have done and it interpret uh, all the uh, information sort of related to the forms and help me uh, for better explanation to the uh, management thank you thank you go for my next video for uh, uh with uh, forecasting models in arima x regression